Hey everybody, welcome back to the third episode of The Mortgage Mindset. I'm your host, Dean Francis, and this week, as our special guest, I brought on one of the founding members of our team, um, someone who has not only played a very important part in my personal success, um, but also the team and the company's success. And I think this week, uh, we have a great opportunity to speak about some of the um, obstacles and um, successes that you've seen from this business. And you can speak a little bit about your background and how you got into this uh, mortgage business. Uh, thanks for coming on today, Giovanni. Thank you for having me, Dean. Uh, so my name is Giovanni Moro. I've been a licensed loan officer going on six years now, and I've been with Team Franzese or with working with Dean since I got in the business. Um, you know, it, it's funny to think that, you know, we've been working together for so long now, time's flying, and me and you have built quite a relationship. We're best friends out of the office, and we really connected in the office kind of when I came in the business knowing nothing. I was, you know, I used to look around the office and be like, who can I ask a question to? And Dean was always there. He always somehow had the answer, whatever it might have been. He figured out a solution and he walked us through it. Um, and that's why it's important to surround yourself with people, like-minded people that are driven and that can kind of support you, you know, in your journey to success. And um, fortunately for both of us, we've had a very good run the past few years. So, so Giovanni, you know, speaking about, you know, going through a journey and, you know, of course, we all go through our own journey in life and, of course, in business, you know, give us a little bit of a background, you know, about your journey and, you know, kind of how you decided to get into the mortgage business and, you know, what you were doing before you got into the business. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, the mortgage industry has always been something I think that was, it was in the back of my mind as that might have been an avenue I wanted to go down. I kind of started in finance. I mean, years ago, I was preparing tax returns at 15, 16 years old for my uncle's firm, believe it or not. And that was kind of where I wanted to go was maybe be an accountant. Um, truthfully, school wasn't for me, right? So I initially, when I was 18, 19, I got into my family business, was construction. Um, I learned hard work the, uh, the real way, you know, as a laborer in the laborers union, digging holes. Um, 18, 19 years old, I realized this is not for me. This is not what I want for my life. And I need, I need more. So I, at that point, started to realize, well, where can I place myself where I can be my best self and yeah, be the most successful? So it was sales. I realized sales is where you're gonna, unfortunately, listen, we're, all, we're all here to make money, right? So I realized sales is where you're gonna make the most money and be the most successful or build your, your brand or build a business. So I got into life insurance when I was about 20 life years old. Life insurance? Yep, yeah, life insurance. When I was 20 years old, got my life accident health insurance license, worked for Aflac, Walked into a room, again, ne never was on the phone, wasn't a sales guy, walked into a room, didn't know what was going on. All I remember was the guy who was supposed to be my manager, he was just talking to me while eating a yogurt. And, <laughs> and I just like, I can't, like this is just like, I can't work for this guy. So <laughs> I ended up getting a job as a personal banker. With that license, I was a personal banker at a bank and I did that for about a year until I again realized I'm maxed out, I need to, I need to push more. I more feel like a lot myself. of I feel like a lot of people start there though, whether it's a Chase or some of those big banks. Yeah. I feel like just getting into that whole world of just banking, even though I guess you might think that when you go work for one of those big institutions, um, that I guess you can kind of go in any direction. But yeah. I think it's just a good starting point for anybody who's looking to get into I guess that whole world, and then you can kind of gravitate you know, either towards sales or towards, you know, I guess money management, whatever that bank or whatever that whole world of banking is going to lead you towards. Um, I think, again, it's a great way to get started with just getting into the whole financial world in general. And yeah. I think a lot of people do go that route. So absolutely. Um, you know, it is a starting point. And, you know, when when you're young, I guess, you know, for me, it was trying to figure out, you know, what did I really want for myself? I always had that larger than life idea of who I wanted to be and what success was. As we all do. Yep, exactly. So um, it was just about finding the right people to help you grow, right? Yeah. So from you know from being a personal banker, I, that's when I got into you know real sales, phone sales. I was doing hard money, cash advances, which is still a great industry. Um, it got to a point I was very very successful in that business. Um, I wanted to do something a little different for myself, so I kind of veered off, went opened a restaurant. Um, I don't advise you to do that. <laughs> um, you know, again, it was a, it was two year run. I did everything I could, and again, just reality hit that. You know, I'm a salesman. 
that's yeah, that's where I'm gonna be genuinely successful and happy with growth and, and where I want to be in life. So that's when I decided to get into the mortgage business. And you know, again, that's you know, 12 years later, now we're here. Um, and again, when I got in the mortgage business, when I got onto the sales floor, you know, at that time I was 27. I was you know, already had a house, had a mortgage, had bills, and I needed success instantly, right? So I think I passed and, and got licensed within the first three months. You were one of the first people that I've ever witnessed in the mortgage business to study for his test and actually pass the first time. So we praise this gentleman for that, of course, <laughs> on our team every day. That's so, that's so funny. And I was never a test taker, too. So when I did do that, it was a surprise to myself, too. Um, but I think when you know you want something, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You put your head down, you do it, you show up, and you figure it out it's day by day, step by step you make it work. Well, so that's what we kind of did. Yeah, of you know? course. And by you starting in, I guess, the world of construction, learning that hard work, which, you know, we try to instill and of course, all of the loan officers here, you know, with us, I think having those, like we spoke about on our last episode, having those old school mentalities, you know, work hard, you know, show up every day and, you know, fight for what you believe in. Um, and for that success, uh, you know, you, you having that instilled in you, I think, is what's helped you um, separate yourself from a lot of these loan officers in, of course. you know, a challenging market. Yeah. Um, it's work ethic, you know. Uh, I ethic. think that's half the battle is showing up and what you, you know, how much are you going to put in to get what you want to get back? Yeah, of course. Right. So when I was, you know, 18, 19 digging holes, I always look back at that when I'm sitting in the office, if I'm having a bad day, I look back and I'm like, what are you going to do, be in the street again? This is... This is, you know, this is your livelihood. You got to figure it out some way or another. And I think everyone who gets in this business thinks that it might be easy, right? I think we had these conversations many times where when I got in, I had a different vision. I'm going to show up. I'm going to, my phone's going to ring. Realtors are going to call me. This guy's going to give me deals. And everybody that said they'd give you business, they were nowhere to be found, right? What did we do? We hit the phones, right? There's no, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with kind of going back to square one, you know, and- Well, just basics and yeah, sales, basics, really. Exactly, yeah. All the movies that we watch and all the people that yeah. are on social media nowadays that a lot of us try to follow and not really be like, but, you know, follow the steps that they took to become successful, you know, they preach all of those old school things, yep, you know, exactly. pound the phones, show yep. up to work, you know, early mornings, late nights, yeah. you know, build your personal life around your business, I guess you could yeah, say. And, that's true. you know, that's a decision, I guess, a lot of people that come into this business, you know, have to make because, you know, especially this last, I'd say, year or so as the market has became or become a little more challenging for, you know, your not really newer loan officer, I would say your average loan officer, um, you know, we really on our team, we learned to dig deep. You know, we've really transitioned not changed our model, but we've really transitioned into a model where, you know, we know what works mm -hmm. every single month, you know, with our leads and our marketing and all of the stuff that we do to produce business every month. But we also, uh, we're also experts at, you know, making that pivot that we've made this year, Absolutely. you know, into the whole social media world, yeah. you know, which we really talked about on our last episode. And um, I don't want to get back too much into that, but it is great to see all of the um, obstacles that you've overcome, you know, getting into this business and um, really makes me happy to see the success that you've seen so far. So I appreciate it. Um, I mean, listen, th it's thanks to you and, and, uh, and, you know, Keith and the team that we surround ourselves with, yeah. you know, that's a very big part of what we do here. I preach team all the time. You know, if you don't have the right people around you, then you're only as good as you know, yourself, and you and can only do and so you, much And your last yourself. sale, they say, in yeah, sales, exactly. right? exactly, and you can only do so much, you know? So sometimes, you know, we sit in a room, we bounce ideas off each other, of figure out other ways to, you know, again, gain that, you know, that kind of attention towards, you know, what we do and what we provide that maybe other loan officers don't or maybe just other banks don't. Yeah, of course. Um, so that's why now the social media has really taken off, and I feel like if you're not a part of it, you're really, you're leaving out a, a big part of business. Yeah, of course. You know, and five years ago, this wasn't really a, a play. It's so funny, you know? we, five years ago when, you know, cause something else I want to speak about today is, you know, how you and I became so close by starting, I guess, in the business together and, you know, becoming best friends out of the office. Um, me being honored to be the best man at your wedding that's coming up yeah. in a couple of months. And, um, you know, going back to when I met you, 
um, at Meadowbrook in 2018, um, you know, even though I was in the industry, you know, I just got licensed then, but I was in the business. Um, but looking at somebody who was, I guess, a little bit older than me then, you know, I had that respect for you that, you know, I know that you've been successful in sales before. Um, this is somebody that I want to be around because I know that he's driven to, you know, do whatever it takes to become successful um, and to be successful. And one of the things that I also wanted to speak about today was, you know, kind of how you and I became so close, you know, by starting in the office together and then, you know, really expanding our friendship, you know, into a brotherhood outside of the office and, you know, by you giving me the honor to being your best man and your wedding coming up and, um, you know, speak about on, you know, how we started together a little bit. Yeah, so I, it was, you know, again, just it, it goes back to day one, first day. I remember the first day that I started in the mortgage business. It was February 12th, 2018 was my first day in the mortgage business. Sat down at a desk. Um, again, was the whole, it was from ground zero of just yeah, yeah. get licensed, you know, learn the product um, and, you know, just figure it out, really, yeah, right? Of course. So when we were on the sales floor, I think I noticed right away that you were probably the only gentleman on the floor that, he, you know, there morning to night, you heard him on the phone, you, he sounded good, he sounded knowledgeable. I would have never knew that he just got licensed or he's only been in the business for a couple of years. Yeah, this was kind of before that we started. I know that you decided you had to pick what team you wanted to go yeah, on. Yeah, so. Um, a, a, but this a, was kind of before we really started our relationship. Yeah, this was before our relationship even started. Uh, you know, initially I had an option of who I wanted to work with. There were maybe three or four, you know, managers at that time that I was presented and I got to choose who I wanted to work with. I chose Keith Cullen uh, based on the knowledge and just the conversation we had, I hit it off right away. Um, and then I kind of got brought onto his team, which again, Dean was a part of. And that's how it really started, you know, was again, in the beginning when you really know nothing and you're just trying to, you know, again, figure it out, I was always able to turn to Dean and that. So we kind of right away realized that we had the same mindset. We yeah. had the same goals. We of would course. talk about what we wanted in life and it was like to the T. So, and we've had the same work ethic where we'll do whatever it takes to make it work. Yeah, and I think that's what kind of started not only the, you know, the relationship, the work relationship, but we became brothers. Yeah, honestly, of course. You know, you know, because you don't, every day. <laughs> you don't, you don't see that from too many people. You know, a lot of people that, you know, are friends out of the office then come into the business together. You know, someone's always lacking something or, you know, someone's doing more than the other, whatever the case may be. But I think for us, you know, not meeting each other out of business and, you know, meeting in the office, yeah. you know, seeing somebody who had that drive to become successful and um, that again, like we said, would do whatever it takes to succeed in this business, you know, that's what, you know, made me want to be friends with that guy right away, yeah. you know, with you. So because it, it, that's what it comes down to is, you know, we started, it's the reverse. We weren't friends. So we didn't have that obligation at first to yeah, like course. one another, right? Yeah, yeah, it right. just was a natural thing that we just connected and I th it was instant, you know? I mean, we, we started, you know, connecting on a business level, obviously first, and then we just realized outside of work that we had the same interests and again, the same goals in life and that just kind of brings you together. And I think that's really, what started it out, but again, I, I give him, you know, a majority of the credit to my success is Dean Franzese, honestly. So for me and him, it's ride or die till the wheels fall off, honestly. You know, I, 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 I appreciate those words. Yeah. So Gio, something else I really wanted to speak about today, which I think is something that's extremely important, you know, not only in the mortgage space, but also in really any sales environment and really in any business that you're trying to grow and scale um, teamwork you know, being a part of a team. You know, some people I feel like, um, whether you're in sales or another industry, you know, it's always good to be independent and of course try to do things on your own. And, you know, I commend everybody who tries to, you know, take initiative and, course, you know, yeah. do whatever they need to do to try to become successful. But the one thing that I truly believe in and something that I think, you know, we mutually agree upon is that a team is really what helps people scale their businesses yep. and their lives to the next level. I agree. You yeah. know, seeing the people around you, um, seeing the people that are extremely successful that, you know, drive you to become that person per se. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and really just having systems of working together on a daily basis, 
I think that's a very important part of our success, and yeah. you know, I'm sure you could speak upon, you know, speak about that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, again, if you work by yourself, and if you if you're that guy that's out there doing it on your own, again, much respect to you. God bless you. That's the route you want to take. But working as a there's 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 a different feeling that you get when you know that you have support that you're working with people that want to see you succeed. Of course. Um, and then we surround ourselves with successful people. Yeah, yeah, you know right. what I mean? So everyone that we surround ourselves with is, you know, they're probably the best in what they do. Yeah, so course. that makes you push a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think I would enjoy the business as much as I was by myself, honestly, just running around town, just trying to pluck <laughs> a deal. I mean, it sounds good, but I'd rather come in and we joke and we have fun. Of and course. Yeah, we're here from eight to eight and we grind. But I love every minute of it. It's yeah, different. of course. It's a different. It's a different. Uh, it's a, a different, different feeling. feeling. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're at home when, exactly. when you're at work. With family, yeah, with exactly. your brothers, you know. Exactly. And you don't really get that opportunity to work. And everyone you work with, you actually like. There's always one guy on the team. That, you know, he's all right. We have everybody here. We <laughs> yeah, love everybody. Yeah, we're course. family. Literally, yeah, we're family. Hundred percent. So I think that's a huge part of it. Um, but obviously, the you know the other end of it is just work. Just the work end of things. You know, when you can walk, you know, five feet into your you know, to your pre-underwriting manager's office, go over a scenario, you know, make sure that the loan works and get ideas of how to structure the loan the right way just to make sure you're not submitting a deal that's, again, you're going to have an issue with. Make sure you structure the loan the right yeah, way. So you're not wasting the referral partner's yeah. time, the real estate agents, the attorneys. Yeah. You know, that's another important thing that you brought up. You know, not only having a sales team, but also, you know, for somebody like us, you know, for Team Francis, having the operational help that we have on our team, you know, whether it's helping you put the files together, you know, whether it's helping you, you know, once that loan's approved, you know, digging yep. through those conditions to try to get the loan clear to close. Exactly. You know, whether it's title conditions, it could be a million different things. Yep. Um, I think that we have a, a pretty, pretty good system in place that helps all of our files move and um, that really help us scale our businesses. Yep. And, you know, even looking at the other stuff on the sales end that we've recently implemented, you know, all of the help with social media mm -hmm. um, to setting up the studio in the office that we're sitting in, which is yeah. um, an opportunity to bring in the referral partners to speak about their successes and the challenges that they've gone through in this business and in life. Um, and I really think that teamwork does make the dream work. Giovanni, I really appreciate you coming on the show today. It was an honor to have you. Honor to be um, here. Thank you. You know, I love that you spoke about not only the success that you've seen in this business, but also the challenges that you've had to fight your way through and um, how teamwork is so important, um, how hard work is so important. And, you know, I look forward to, you know, seeing what the future holds for us. And I'm sure it's going to be nothing but, you know, unbelievable things and, you know, more success, of course. That's it, man. Till the wheels fall off. That's Team it. Franzese.